Hi, I'm Lassie and I'm teaching people in metal shaping and I have done that for many years and people asking for more and more tips and tricks and I'm happy to spread my knowledge to people all over the world that can do all kinds of different stuff. Car stuff, motorcycle, airplanes, art, furniture, who knows. So here's another uh, tips and tricks in the bead roller that I'm going to use, you do. And I'm using a um, U-profile on the bottom, but it's not it's pretty square U profile and has little radius on, on the both sides and then a two and a half radius on the top. And I'm going to run that several times so I don't so it doesn't crack. Steel I probably could go a little little harder, but aluminum I need to be a little careful about that. And as you see, I can use the guide here because I want straight lines. So here you can see the profile there. See if I can go one more time and I can look on the end there and I can see that it's, it's still material there before it it's cracks. It cracked in the beginning, that's okay. I can always cut a little off there. So now I'm going to move this in about like that. There you can see it was cracked in the beginning. See if I can run it more times now and not so much pressure each time. Just increase the pressure a quarter of a turn. That will help it so it doesn't crack. So there I'm all the way down, so I don't think I need to go again. I can just move guide in a little bit. So this is, I mean this looks pretty simple, pretty much straightforward, but uh, I'm going to run this one and another one and after that I can show you one more thing that I can do with this piece. So I'm all the way down there again. So move this in again. And of course I could have measured this. So uh, I had exactly the same distance between. It's pretty close for the, for the sample. Cut that one also a little bit in the beginning. It seems like when I get all the way down, that's where it cuts it. Anyway, so here it looks, you know, it could be, it, it almost looks like flanges because it's, it's much deeper than if I'm using a male and female of this one. But here's the trick. I had one made before and I bent that. So it could be something that you do around a circle or around an oil filter on a car. So what I did, I took this one and then I bent it like this. So you see, now we have another funny profile of that because it bends it so, so easy because of that. It's cracked a little there and it cracked a little there. But if you take it a little more careful and, and more steps down, it will not crack. 
But here you can actually make a cylinder and you can have more of those too if you want. And you can have that around an oil filter on a car or air cleaner or who knows what you would like to use it for. So that was the tips and tricks for, for that part of, of type of bead. So if you want more information, you can go to www.lazymetalshaping.com. Thank you for watching.